you been holding up in the heat lately? The summer months can be uncomfortable, even dangerous for people and our pets. Thankfully, there are a few tools that can help your pet keep their cool. Madison Reitz and Andy Brandner are with Pet Wants in Sioux Falls. They brought along some ideas for how to help your fur baby feel more comfortable when Mother Nature turns up the heat and the humidity. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I'm so excited you guys are in because I recently took Jordi for a walk in yeah. the heat. It wasn't that long, but he did end up vomiting after, and I got so scared. Yep. Don't be scared. We got you. Mm -hmm. And so I think I might just need to take all of this with me, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Everything. Add to cart. Add to cart. Well, Andy, <laughs> first, can you just start off by telling us some signs of heat stroke or heat exhaustion in pets? Yeah, definitely. So some common signs you're going to see. Like, like excessive, I mentioned vomiting. Yeah, <laughs> excessive panting, excessive drooling, things like that, bright red membranes, um, vomiting, like you mentioned. Yeah, definitely mm -hmm. dry nose. And then in severe cases, you might even see like a rapid heart rate, abnormal heart rate. Um, yeah, definitely things to look for when it's this hot out. Seizures. Oh, you know. yeah. yeah. That's oh. more worst case. So right. there's lots Definitely. of stuff that you can do before things get to that point. Right, and we don't mm -hmm. want that to happen. That's why That's you guys why we're are here. here. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What are some contributing factors? Like, we know that those are the signs, but yep. what are some things that can increase that when they're out in the heat? Overweight dogs, dogs with those short noses, so watch your terriers, your pit bulls, your boxers. Um, obesity, when you're out exercising, definitely keep in mind when you're exercising with your dog um, that it takes a lot bigger toll on them, them than it does you. Um, and then restricted access to water. So just having water out is going to be a really big thing for them. And never keep them in your car, right? No, don't ever <laughs> keep them in your car, not even just for a minute. And we'll talk about some of that stuff too. All right, well, let's get into it. So like you mentioned, Madison, you said access to water. Yes. It can be hard to have access to water when you're on a walk, though. Yep, yep. So what are some things that you have? So a few of my favorites. This guy right here I love because you can flip this up. So you fill it with your water. You can release your water into here, and then you can actually pour it right back into the same container. So I, I love like this one. I like how it one. flips because I have one where the plastic part is stuck like a bowl. Yep. And it's kind of annoying to carry. Yep. This is super convenient. Yeah, I, I like love that. that one. And then these are awesome for traveling because they're just a poppable mold. I know Andy takes these on her little hikes, so it's very convenient to just have, and then you have a little water bottle, pop it in there. And it has this carabiner too, so you can just like clip it to your clip it belt on your loop or whatever. Your belt loop, whatever you've got. Yep. Love it. Yes. And then this guy. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. Look how cute um, it is. I know. So that thing you can fill with water and then freeze, and it's just giving them access to water when they don't necessarily want to think about it and drink it. So you're giving them kind of a treat slash toy, mm -hmm. but also hydrating them in the same time. Tricky. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. yeah you gotta I like be that. sneaky sometimes. That's super smart. So it's basically like a chew toy, but you're just putting water in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Secret hydration toy. And then we have this. I've seen this before. Yes, this is a mud buster. Most people think that it's for getting mud off their dog's paws, but did you know that dogs actually sweat through their tongue and their paws? So you can actually put cold water in here. Not too cold. You just want chilled water and dip their paws in there because that's okay. going to really help cool them off. So after your walk, put some of that on. Even if you don't have soap or anything in there, put some right. cold water in, boom. And then our paw wax. Absolutely amazing, great for summertime to keep their paws safe and then same in the winter to keep them Yeah, because nice. if the cement or the sidewalk is super hot on your walk, I mm -hmm. always worry about that. I'm like, are, am I burning Jordy's paws? Huge tip for that, if you put your hand on the concrete for seven seconds and you feel like it's too hot, don't take them out. <gasps> so summertime is big for morning walks and evening walks. Oh my gosh, okay, mm -hmm. good to know because yes. I don't think I've been falling. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking notes. You're mentally we're taking learning. notes. We're learning. Right. <laughs> right. And we got some lick mats right here. Yes. So these actually kind of go with hydration and our treats. So I love making this into like, you could fill it with water and then put some broth in there, put pumpkin in there, put some of their favorite treats in there and freeze it into almost a block of goodness. So oh, keep them got busy, treats, right? They've got toys. They can put whatever in there. A chicken foot in there is my favorite thing. A little Ooh, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Jordy so loves those are awesome. Another sneaky way to get them some extra water. And then you can use a lot of the stuff that Andy has Yeah, here too. Andy, speaking yeah. of treats, I heard you made those ones up front, right? Yeah. So those these look so been, good. I know. These have been my favorite thing to make. They're probably more fun for me to make than they are for my dogs to eat, <laughs> honestly. But I've been calling them popsicles. So here we just have different ice cream and then bone broth there in the middle. We just threw some 
Petwant treats on there on top just to make them look cute. And then we popped a collagen stick in the middle. And my dogs have been a massive fan. Yeah, I've been keeping them um, fresh on stock in the freezer. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, some other fun things you can do. We do have these little ice cream molds here. And you can honestly put just about anything in there from like freeze um, or from pumpkin puree to bone broth. Again, freezing that ice cream in there. Yeah, there's honestly so much you can do. Madison's mm -hmm. been doing applesauce lately, just no yes. added sugars. Yep. Yeah, so much fun things you can do, honestly, to keep it fun and help cool your pup off. You gotta tell me more about this ice cream, though, because I was holding <laughs> yes. it and I was like, is there, oh, is this just an empty container? You're like, no, you just add water and then you freeze it. So yeah, it's actually super convenient. So it's actually just a powder and then you just add water to it. So if you only wanna make half of it, yeah, you just add as much powder and water to, mm -hmm. to mix the treats up, which is super convenient. It's very yeah. easy. Right, easy. and there's all different flavors. Yes, yeah. yeah. We, some of our top sellers are definitely like the peanut butter, vanilla, and then I think we have a red velvet one. Yeah. The banana one is yeah, really fun. Banana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, banana. Yeah, so another, many fun options. Yes, another fun one to add into these. Little treats to keep them hydrated. Watermelon, seedless, of course. It's almost all yeah. water, so that's a True, great treat yeah. for them. And then it gives them some flavor. Yep, and then cucumbers, packed with vitamins and minerals, but also tons of water. So if you have an overweight dog or an underweight dog, it doesn't matter. It's going to yeah. get them some extra hydration. So, so another sneaky little them, thing. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh my gosh, that is genius. So there's a lot of different things as far as accessories that you can have, treats. I got to get my hands on some of that ice cream because that <laughs> yes. is just crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yes. but bone broth. Dogs yeah. love bone broth and it's good for them too. So good for them. A lot mm -hmm. of health benefits. Yep. for the dogs as yep. well. So they're getting immunity from the bone broth. The ice cream is a nice chilled treat, but also safe ingredients. All mm -hmm. of our stuff is always safe. No corn, soy, wheat, byproducts, all yeah. that jazz. Um, so you're always safe and we can always kind of spice things up. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Yep, <laughs> add some <laughs> part. Yes. Brittany, Brittany's taking all of this home. All right, well, thank you so much, ladies, for coming in and yes. telling us all about this so that we can be safe in the summer heat. Thank you yes. for having us. Pet Wants started with the goal of improving the health and well-being of their own pets. Now, they hope to use what they have learned to promote nutrition and vitality in pets across the country. In Sioux Falls, you will find them at 7740 South Dakota Hawk Avenue. You can shop in-store or online at petwants.com slash Sioux Falls. With their auto delivery system, you can modify your order before each delivery. That means you get the best possible food delivered when you need it and only how much as you need delivered right to your door for the same price as most premium commercial pet foods. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by Pet Wants, fresh, nutritious pet food made with the best ingredients possible and delivered to your doorstep. At Pet Wants, you're sure to find something your best friend will love.